Hello everybody! Today we are starting off our adventure in the pretty village of Llangernu before going on to Nantglin because today we're going to go and look at two very interesting and old yew trees. Okay, we're just outside the church now and approaching the yew tree but it's just so massive and big I'm going to have to duck down really low, especially with Poppy on my back, <laughs> to see the lovely old tree which I'll turn around and show you now we're here. Here we are. It's rather massive. <laughs> You'll often find old yew trees in graveyards and they've had associations with ancient beliefs for hundreds, even thousands of years. They're quite hard to date though, because often when they're old, they lose their core, which has happened to this one too, which you might just be able to see behind me. The trunks you can see are actually offshoots from the original tree. This particular tree in Llangernu it's thought to have first been planted or germinated 4,000 years ago. That puts it firmly in the Bronze Age, way before the Romans arrived in, in Britain. Way before, double it in fact. So this is one of the oldest living organisms in the whole world. As well as it losing its core, um, one of the biggest differences of how this tree looks compared to a few years ago is that until its age and importance was actually recognised, it used to have the church's oil tanker stored in the middle of it, which was removed in the 90s. I was going to say that we're now on the second part of our adventure, but actually this is our third part, because last weekend, Poppy and I went to the Cotswolds with Poppy's daddy, and we went to see another, well, two yew trees in a churchyard that were really just beautiful and magical and it's like we'd entered another world. We went to the church in the Stow in the Wold and there are two yew trees that are growing around the church door. It's almost as if they're part of the church um, growing up um, almost kind of growing out of the church walls and it's absolutely beautiful. So, part three of our adventure brings us to Nance Glen, to St James's Churchyard. Um, and this might be my favourite of the three places we've visited recently when it comes to yew trees. This is a very special one. It, it too doesn't have a core anymore, like I mentioned earlier. A lot of them don't when they're older, which makes it really hard to date because you can't do tree ring dating, which is how dendrochronology, that's how you date trees usually. Um, but this one, they've actually used the core of the tree for something quite different and quite magnificent. So as you approach this tree, you can see that within it has been built a pulpit inside the yew tree itself for preaching on. We don't know how long it dates back, but there are rumours or legends has it that John Wesley preached here he was founder of the Methodist movement that was kind of a, a movement within the Protestant church. <laughs> Good girl, Poppy. I don't know if you heard that. She went, yeah. Um, and so it was quite a radical movement back in um, the 18th century. Um, and he was quite taken to open air preaching. So it's not hugely beyond doubt that he could have come here to preach a sermon. So the pulpit here is actually made of local Welsh slate, which is particularly exciting considering the Welsh slate landscape has just been given world heritage status here in North Wales. But also, just to make the connection here too, is that the first Welsh language Wesleyan Methodist chapel was, um, was founded in Denby, um, so just down the road. I hope you've enjoyed my three little stories about yew trees that have made a big impact on their communities and I hope that next time you pass along a churchyard just keep an eye out for a yew and just think about the thousands of people who it may have impacted at some point in their lives in the past too. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel please press the button below and then next time we upload a video where we're up to our little adventures again you'll get a notification. Thanks very much, bye bye! Say bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, yes. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, it's high. It's very high.